welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are about to embark upon an hour of what I like to call entertainment. Potato, potato, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. So first and foremost, I don't ever want anyone to get scammed. And so for every show moving forward, um, <clears throat> I'm going to remind people, I will never reach out to you on social media and say, get a reading, you need a reading, yada, yada, yada. People are replicating our sites, taking our stuff off of our sites and put creating whole new like YouTube channels and Instagram channels with our actual content and then telling you to pay them. Don't fall for that. I have um, one, <clears throat> one, excuse me, <clears throat> one social media, <laughs> one, oh my gosh, someone is trying to talk to me so hard right now. <laughs> oh, just relax for a minute. Um, I have one YouTube channel, um, all my, um, Facebook, social media is linked. Don't just don't be scammed. I never reach out to anybody. If you want a reading or a hypnosis or a healing, you literally have to reach out to me and um, get that. Okay. So please don't be scammed. And, you know, being, I don't want anyone to be scammed, but worse off, I don't want anybody to get a shanky reading and then think I did that. That would, I, I think they are equally bad like seriously, equally bad. Hey, Raphael. Um, I want to thank everybody who is on the YouTube chat. That would be Fawn and Heather and um, Fawn and Heather. We've been talking for like 15 minutes with everybody. So here's, oh, Raphael put a picture up, everybody. Raphael, Brazilian poppy, put a picture up. I can't see it because it's just like so tiny. Okay, so um, I want to start the show off with something, and I and hear me out. Hear me out. Hear this out. Just let's roll with this to the end. And I I want you to comment. I want you to tell me how you feel about this. Okay. So it's it's about organ donation. And for three days, oh my goodness, all I've been hearing in my head is about organ donation. And um, why can't we sell our organs? Now, hear me out. Hear me out. So we are... Sometimes, you know, like they want us to put the donor sticker on our driver's license. So when we die, all of our organs get donated from our eyes to our, you know, kidneys to everything. Anything that is workable, they're going to take it and they're going to use it. However, now hear me out. The hospital, I believe, charges for that. Yeah. How do you get something for free and turn around and charge for it? It's kind of like goodwill, right? Like, are we literally goodwilling our organs at the end of our life? Now, just let me continue here before you start judging what I'm saying. Just keep an open mind. Why, why can we only donate our organs? I'm going to say something. Don't click off. Just listen. If it's truly our body, our choice. <laughs> and there it is. If it's truly our body, our choice, why can't we sell an organ if we want to? Do, 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 do. Come on, folks. Come. Why? Why? If I know somebody who will pay me money for my kidney, part of my liver, I kind of like my eyes. I'm not going to sell my eyes. Just being honest, folks. Um, why can't we? I don't understand this. I, I don't understand how our laws work. 
when it pertains to certain things, when it comes to our, our body. Why can't we do that? I don't want to sell any part of my body yet. I don't know. I might need to for a gas a tank pretty a tank of gas pretty soon, but right, right now I'm okay. I'm okay right now, right? Hello, hello. Um so why why is that? Why is that where we are right now in our world? It's okay for doctors and hospitals to charge for it and charge for the services of it but we cannot. And if we could, how many people would be taken off of waiting lists? I don't know. I'm just I'm just saying for 3 days straight this has been up in my head. Spirit's been telling me to bring it to you live and I'm bringing it to you live. Now I have like a 100 different things on our body and our choice that we could discuss, like so many different things. Like if it's like, for example, our hair, we can donate our hair to somebody who can turn around and make a wig and sell it for somebody who needs hair. Is it sinking in yet? Is it sinking in yet? Let me know when it hits you. Let me know when all of this, what I'm trying to say at you, what spirit's trying to throw at you, are you catching it? Are you getting it yet? Hmm? Are you? Are you there yet? Are you there yet? Let me know if you're there. Okay, so here's how the show works. We're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go, go, go. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so throughout the show, I take callers. If you want to call in, you can call in 845-277-9131. I will answer a question or connect you with a loved one. If more comes through, I will give it to you, but we start with one question or one loved one because the call log is usually pretty full, given the fact that um, the, the company I use is um, not having some kind of you know, stuff go on. Uh, yes, I do answer questions on the YouTube chat. So if you have a question and you are watching on YouTube, please type in your question and I will answer it as soon as I can. I don't get to the questions immediately because the people uh, that called in have been waiting for like 15 minutes before the show to ask a question. Also, if I accidentally miss your question, don't come at me. You skip me. Listen, <laughs> so repost your question. Get over it. Like, so I don't owe anybody anything. I do this because I do it because it's fun and da da da. Um, don't come at me if I accidentally miss you. Okay, okay. That's all I'm saying. Um, and it's tough to watch both um, the call log and the YouTube log. If you'd like to join the show live because this show does air on TV, if you would like to join the show live, it's every Monday and Wednesday at noon for noon central for a minimum of 30 minutes. Again, you can uh, mostly time 60 minutes. Uh, you can call in live 845-277-9131 or you can join us on YouTube. Here we grow again. Here we grow. Kira, hey there. Um, so yes, the person with the name of hello, you can post a question here. I'll be happy to answer that. I'm going to go to 814 first. 814, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, 814. Oh, 814 is gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> they waited like literally 25 minutes and then unfortunately I lost them. If they call back in, I'm going to have to take them right away um, because I lost them somehow. Okay, 405, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, it's Heather from Oklahoma. Hey, Heather. How are you today? Good. 
I was calling you back about my son. Um, we talked about his MRI for his heart. And I read the report. I haven't heard back from the doctors yet, but I read the report. And they're leaning toward a Ross procedure, which is basically changing out the valves in the heart. And just wondering, like, is there anything else that we could possibly do? Because that's really scary to me. Yeah, that's um, that literally changing them out. Literally, like. Yeah. Okay. That's open heart surgery. Yeah, okay. they'll be doing a cadaver uh, valve and then changing his valve to one of the top ones. Okay, so unfortunately, um, I'm asking <clears throat> questions while we're talking. And yes, this is a procedure that does need to be done. But no, you don't need to worry. Um, I don't want to sound. I know. I know that you are very, very stressed and worried. And I would be. <clears throat> one of my nieces had to have a a patch put in her heart, and um, I was freaked out. So I. I get it. <laughs> I get, I get how, yeah. and this is like way, um, this is a lot, especially for somebody young. Um, what I'm getting though, however, what I'm getting, um, is everything is going to be, uh, tip, like they're using the term tip top for the surgery. It's going to go very well. There's it, it's there. It will not be problematic in any way. It's going to go, um, if there is a such thing as a perfect surgery, this would be it, okay? Um, so please, do, okay. for what it's worth, um, at least here's here's like what we like to do. At least they know and it's being taken care of and he will be in very, very good and capable hands. So please know that right. uh, and I know everybody watching this show and listening to this show. I know my peeps are full on amazing, and they will be praying for him also, as well as me. Um, we will all be praying for him um, and uh, and having him in our thoughts and uh, uh, go, going from there. I hope that I said that correctly. Um, so as much as you're going to worry between now and then, and I get that, um, I still worry about my niece's heart, even though everything is, as they say, said and done and whatever, I still worry. Um, so what I'm going to say is, uh, try to minimize your concerns, knowing he's in capable hands and everything will go well. Now I'm going to tell you just to let you know I'm not fluffing stuff in you. As long as he keeps the surgeons that are scheduled for him and everything goes as it's supposed to go, everything should be good. Now, there have been times when I have literally told people, um, you know, go some, you might want to think about going someplace else to have this done. I feel like there's going to be a problem. I'm not getting any of that for you. So please know that and please know that as it sits right now, and when it gets closer, you can reach out as it sits right now. When he has this, everything will be really, really good for him. It will be as close to perfect as a surgery can be. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so, so welcome. I hope this was helpful. Um, and we will be praying for him. I know everybody that listens will be praying and um and uh, hoping for a speedy recovery for him. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. Um, I want to say hi to Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Um, hey, uh, Sandy. So grateful you guys are on with, um, on with me. Thank you so much. I'm going to go directly to 551. 551. I am Jennifer. I am Jennifer from New Jersey. Okay, my situation is I was talking to this person for about nine months and seeing them on and off and stuff. We've had our moments, but <laughs> they're just cold not talking to me anymore. Like, do you, can you pick up anything, like what their problem is? Did I scare them away or something? Yeah. Did I just like forget them? I don't 
Yeah, I'm going to say some things that might sound a little bit controversial to you or to others, but that's not a full grown boy. I mean, that's not even a full grown boy, let alone a full grown man, girl. Somebody really? who just, yeah, like mm. a full grown person would be able to have a They're conversation. They're just completely ignoring me. I'm sorry? Yeah. They're just completely ignoring my texts, my calls, my everything. And like who? we talk all the time and they were supposed to come back and see me. And like they're just not, they can't ver- be verbal to me. Okay. So <laughs> what does that mean? So here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm not even going to use a term. I'm trying to be funny with that's not a full grown boy or a full grown man. Here's what I'm going to tell you. They're emotionally right. immature. If somebody, okay. and here's, here's the biggest thing that, okay. So I'm just going to talk for a moment. So just like take in as much as you can will, come back quiet. and re-listen to the show if you need to. And I'm, I'm just going to say a, a couple quick things and then I'm going to unmute you. Um, so please don't, don't hang up. I didn't mute you because I'm upset or anything. I just want to be able to to spill what spirit is saying. First and foremost, there are a couple of reasons that people ghost other people. Um, but the biggest thing is if you've tried to, to have a conversation with this person who has ghosted you and they've ghosted you still and they're non-responsive, just block them. And there's a lot of reasons for that. They're not hurt. They're not in the hospital. They're not in prison. And and none of that stuff is applicable. Okay. If a person goes to you because they're with somebody else, no longer interested, then you don't want them coming back. And they will never be honest about that. They will never be honest about the fact of, yeah, well, I met this other person and I thought they might be a little bit better. So I diddled my do over there and then I found out I really want you or no, I planned on coming back. So I ghosted you and didn't break up, but I wanted to play for a week or two. So, yeah, no, we don't we need to be. We need to be um, a little bit more self um, confidence and self-esteem when it comes to things like people just cutting off communication, like a partner cutting off communication. Now, the other reason they might, a person might go somebody is because the conversation is at a level. um, It's something they don't want to deal with or handle, which tells you they have a very low maturity, emotional maturity level. They don't know how to have these conversations. We are not their mamas or daddies. We it, It's exhausting to try to teach somebody to be emotionally mature. We Nine times out of 10 can't. They're stunted there for a reason. Now, it doesn't matter if or why, why somebody goes to you or just stops talking to you. There's an, a level of disrespect there that we should not um, put up with. And if they do it once, they will do it again. Okay. If it, it, trust me, I know (laughs) if they do it once, they will do it again. And if you're in a situation where this is how somebody gets what they want, because some of the, I'm going to tell you girls and guys something. There are many, many books being sold right now on how to psychologically manipulate people to get them to become addicted to you. And ghosting is one of the ways, one of the main things in the book. And it's it, it's crazy to me that people would go to that level to buy books to figure out how to get somebody to be addicted to them or to control them or manipulate. Who does? Who? Who? Just be normal. Just be a good person. Just have a normal relationship. Like, is your game that week that you have to buy a book to, or 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 do? I just don't. That's not my. Mm, yeah. Okay. Back to this. I say personally block this guy 
Now you get to do what you want. That's not coming from spirit. That's just coming from me and every other woman or man out here who has been through this. Block him and get on with your life. He will never answer you the way you want to be answered about what happened with this. Because if he could answer what happened, he would have had the conversation as to why it happened. Okay. And Raphael Brazilian Poppy says, if a guy ghosts you, they're not worth it. This is coming from a man. Okay. So pay attention here. If a guy ghosts you, they're not worth it. If he was, he wouldn't ghost you. He'd communicate and end it respectfully. He's still a kid, not a man. Thank you, Raphael. My point exactly. See, we're on the same page here. I'm going to tell you no truer words have been spoken. And some, so many times when women hear it from a man, they believe it so much better and so much faster than they do from another woman. And I get that. I'm telling you right now, Number one, if he does it once, he'll do it twice and he'll do it until it's a pattern. Okay. And number two, you will never get the truth. And then if you do take him back, you'll always be nervous about what you say and what you do, the topics you bring up and how you do things because he just might ghost you again and you don't want to go through that again. So just walk away, walk, walk, walk away. Okay. I'm going to unmute you now that I've said all of that. Huh. Okay. There I'm you so have it. I it. <laughs> from from Raphael Brazilian Poppy, from me. Um and uh yeah. yeah keep and, going. Don't look back. <laughs> uh so yes, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna A tell quick, you another quick question. Uh very usually, quick or now. I usually only do one There's if it's a dog. quick my neighbor has a dog, and the dog always comes to me. And yesterday, the dog ran for the hills. Do I have a spirit with me or something that scared the dog? Or do I have tension and he was afraid? She's afraid of me because she ran for the hills? And I don't usually have that. Okay, so what I'm getting is... <laughs> and I know they're sensitive, so... <laughs> they are. And I think uh, I tested, you know, you're clear, you're unclear, got the right answers. I think I hear it's your stress and tension from this whole situation. So I'm going to, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, I'm going to do a clearing on stress and tension. So let's clear that now. And um, and that should help because dogs can pick up on that stuff. Pets can pick up on that stuff very, very quickly. Okay, love? Okay. I thought I just had a spirit that scared him or something. No, I'm just going to go with the okay. stress and tension. And thank you. Thank you so very much for calling in. I'm so happy that I could help you. I'm going to go directly to 386. And after 386, I'm going to answer a couple of the questions on YouTube. And hey, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hey, how can I help you? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Cindy, and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Cindy. Hey, okay. Okay. Away from this engine that's running. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, I have um, one I want to give you a validation. Last time I spoke with you a few weeks back, I was looking for another job. My job had just ended. Uh -huh. And you said I would find one that was a really good fit that I loved. And I, I just started working last week. Love that. And um, so I really like, like, all the people I'm working for, the owner, the main, my main boss, but he has a young, I'm wondering how long, if I, this is going to be a long-term job as part of the question. And the other part is, are there going to be any issues with, he's put a 20 year old kid in charge over the people, but I had another guy retired. I think it's all he had, but he's like, Oh, he loves farming. He's really good. We, we run equipment and tractors and, oh. um, farming for a huge operation. And, um, this kid is not really good about handling the, the power and the control. So he's like constantly making digs at everybody and putting them down, insulting what they do. Um, when they're, they're not, nobody, they're not doing anything wrong. What they did was, you know, he just wants to like keep them under his feet and he walks around with his hands in his pockets. <laughs> and I haven't really seen any skills out of this kid. I'm really kind of surprised. I thought he would at least have some experience and 
So do you see him being a problem? Is he just very intimidated by um, people around him having more experience? Okay, so here's what I'm getting. I well, first of all, I'm hearing he he is a young kid and he does have big shoes to fill. Okay. Um mm -hmm. so, so yes, that is part of it. He's trying to fill those shoes and he's trying to he knows it people might not respect him for his age or his experience so he feels maybe like he has to come in a little in this way to get people to listen to him otherwise they might walk over him because they might think well he's just a young kid i mean you've said that every time you've used a uh -huh. thing a uh, uh, uh a descriptor for him, you've said young kid. Um, yeah, but they put him... I don't want to say his name on air, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. Um, they put him in that position for a reason. They obviously have some sort of faith or he has some sort of education. So what I would say is um, it'll only be a problem if you let it be a problem. Learn to what Spirit is saying. Learn to to not be bothered by the way other people do things. So if this is his management technique, whether he's, you know, 25 or 55, it's his management technique. Don't be bothered by that. Just show up and do what you need to do and, and allow yourself to be in that space. Um, one thing I often say is if you have an abusive employer, and I say this to everybody all the time, if you have a higher up that or a co-employee employee that is abusive, just record it. You know, just record it and save it or take it and say, listen, this is unacceptable. This is happening on a regular. Um, just record it. So it's never a my word against their word and you have the evidence, it's right there and it helps you in the long run. Um, I, but I would say it's only gonna be a problem. Don't just uh, go, go in, do what you need to do. If it becomes abusive towards you, uh, handle it the way you need. I don't feel like, I don't know that it will be, but um <clears throat> Uh, Do you see this being a long-term good position for me? If you okay. want, it, if you want it to be, if you want it to be, uh, remember every day. Think about the positives of the position, and then move forward with that. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. I hope you have an amazing day, and uh, thank you for calling in. Oh my gosh, I love you guys so much. I will be back Monday at noon. What's today? Is Today's the Wednesday show, right? Yep, I'm going to be back Monday at noon. Um, I just, I adore each and every one of you. And I wish I had like 10 more minutes to tell you how much I, how grateful I am that you spend this time with me and that we get to laugh and joke and um, do all of this. So thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, until Monday, have an absolutely phenomenal weekend. On Monday, I want to hear what y'all did over the weekend. I, I expect some good stories.